Blowfi Studios. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Aki White. I'm back again with a new game, Storm Boy. I'll just start the game. Let's see how it is. It's Storm Boy. Live with Hideaway Tom, his father. Interesting. Years before, when Storm Boy's mother had died, he left Adelaide and gone to live like a, live like a hermit by the sea. The only other man who lived anywhere near them was Fingerbone Bill. At first, Hideaway was afraid that Storm Boy would get lost, and so Hideaway. Look for a landmark. One day he found a big piece of timber lying with the driftwood on the beach. They said, hide away. Now you'll always have a lookout post. You'll be able to see it far up the beach and you won't get lost. Let's go, keep on running. In the early morning, the tall bird stood up and clapped and cheered the rising sun. Stumble felt the excitement and wonder of it. He often sat down to shore all day with his knees up and his chin cup in his hand. Sometimes he wished he had been born as an ibis and the pelican. Pelican is the bird. Oh. Kingfisher is like anything. Okay. Interesting. There's his father. His father's voice wrote him and he ran down to the pitch to help dig up a bag full of big holes what the fuck is that? for their own tea this is a shell I think uh, that's a shell there you go I dig up three I hope you are happy let's keep moving When Stormboy went walking along the bridge. Beach oh Mr. Penguin. How are you? Ah, oh, boy got sad. What happened? Oh he heard a faint rustling and crying and there under the sticks and grass of the broken nest there were tiny pelicans still alive. Oh, Mr. Pelicans, please don't die. Stormboy picked them up carefully. Uh, oh, two of the baby pelicans were fairly strong, but the third one is quite strict. It was three days before the baby pelican was well enough to sit up and ask for food. Poor baby pelicans. That was how Mr. Proud. Mr. Ponder and Mr. Percival came to live with Stormboy. Mr. Percival. Oh, hey there, Pelicans. Eat some fish. Take this. How about you? You want some? Catch. 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 How about you? Yeah. Oh, at last, Hideaway spoke the strongly to Stormboy. Mr. Proud, Mr. Ponder, and Mr. Percival will have to go back to Sanctuary, where they came from. We just can't afford to feed them anymore. Oh no, not the birds. Poor boy, he said now. 
time for respectable pelicans to get to their own breakfast so yeah he was sad he always knew when his father had made up his mind is that he said oh no highway he said for five miles up the century before he stopped the boat off you go oh Right away left the power to the sea. Right away in the storm boy spent the day fishing. Oh Mr. Percival, it's Mr. Percival. Mr. Percival has come back home. He won't leave me. He's my best friend now. Let's go Mr. Percival, let's have some fun, yay! Nice small boat, whoa, trying to swim in different places, okay, let's, let's go, let's dive in, whoa! Pretty good! Oh, Mr. Percival, what else you wanna do? Wow, I can draw. Let's draw something. Let's just draw a heart. For Mr. Percival. Yeah, looks good. Let's go. Oh, there's a ball. Let's play fetch. Go take it. Nice bird. Good job, Mr. Percival. Bring it to me. Good bird. Go. Ooh, nice dive. Come back, come back. Nice. Good bird. Oh. If the storm boy went swimming or sliding or anywhere, Mr. Percival will stay there. We just best friend now. Let's go. Best friends for life. One day as Hideaway was watching them play, he had an idea. If he can bring things back to you, perhaps he can carry things away too. Oh. 200 IQ. It was the year of the great storm. The beginning in May. Even before the winter, it has started. Oh, there's a boat. Is everything okay? I think we should help them. They're drowning. How can we help them? Father, how can we help them? This tomboy gave a great shot. Oh, Mr. Percival, you can do that. He can fly. Let's go, Mr. Percival. No. You can make it, Mr. Percival. Let's go. No, no, please, Mr. Percival. Please save them. Please. No, no, no. I can do this. Almost.
Almost there, almost there, Mr. Percival. Come on. Let's go, Mr. Percival. Ah! I was almost there. No! Come on, Mr. Percival. Let's go. Mr. Percival, you can do this. Let's go, we have done it, we have done it, you have done it, let's go. Beating them all, they slowly hopped the captain's show and dragged him pay and half drowned onto the beach. Saved, he kept saying weakly, saved by a miracle and the pelican. Good job bird, you're a big wonderful bird. He said he looked up at hide away. When he dies, you must send him to the museum. We'll put a level on the case. He saved six men life that night. Oh Mr. Percival, you're so great. Everything went well before long the open season for from the start, Mr. Percival hated the shooters, so sometimes he just sat staring at them. Uh, Mr. Percival, he flew around now, they're hiding places in white circle. Oh. He was trying to save other birds from the shooter. Before long, the ducks understood Mr. Percival's warning. They kept away. Oh, Mr. Percival, you're so great. Oh. No. Don't do that, shooter. Don't shoot, it's Mr. Burst. Oh. Just like that, his voice was drowned by the roar of the gun. In the world, hide away, said sadly. There will, all, there will always be men who are cruel, just as there will always be men who are lazy or stupid or wise or kind. Today, you have seen what cruel and stupid man can do. Oh no, at 9 o'clock Mr. Percival died. Poor bird. He was just... He was too good for this world. This is truly sad. Poor storm boy. Lost his only best friend he had. Oh, Mr. Percival. You are the best, best friend I ever had. And always above them in their mind's eye, they can see the shape of two big wings in the storm clouds and the flying skirt, two wings of white with trailing back edges spread across the sky. For birds like Mr. Percival, do not really die. Oh, Mr. Percival, you was truly a great bird. Oh, with the end of the game, such a nice short story. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you for watching, guys.